happening polls and problems with voter rolls and judges are just some of the issues that plagued Baltimore City polling places last week. Some fed up voters say that they've had enough. They are now calling for the removal of the entire Board of Elections. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at Board of Elections headquarters downtown where thousands of votes are still being counted tonight. Mike? Jessica, we're talking some 10,000 votes. It is unlikely they will change the outcome, but the bigger issue for many voters is the integrity of this election. Some outraged voters call the primary in Baltimore City a mess, with polls that open late and judges ill-trained to handle their jobs. The totality of all of these circumstances that happen essentially leads to voter suppression, and we want to make sure that it's investigated. Hassan Giordano says he fielded complaint after complaint, including a campaign worker mistaken for a judge and allowed to scan ballots. Voters getting the wrong ballots and eight precincts failing to turn in results until the next day. What do you think this says to the voter in Baltimore City? That we have a screwed up system that obviously isn't being run right, and we have to make sure that this never happens again. At Board of Elections headquarters, where thousands of votes are still being counted, longtime election chief Armistead Jones is defending himself. I have no doubt about the votes that are being counted. Including from those late arriving precincts, he says hundreds of judges dropped out just weeks before the primary, and he was able to replace them. We had to hire people uh, Friday before the election and trained them Monday night to be in the polls at 6 in the morning. Jones says he has no control over polling places that opened late, and he refuses to resign. Do you have any plans to step down? None whatsoever. But that doesn't satisfy activists who plan to keep up the pressure. This is gross incompetence. He's been there way too long to have issues like this arise. Now, some candidates and activists will hold a press conference here tomorrow to discuss their future plans. They also plan to gather those voters who had problems together on Thursday to record what happened to them. Live at City Board of Elections, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, thank you. Armistead Jones tells WJZ the election results should be certified by Friday afternoon.